Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, we're going to talk about real estate is the business that loves you back. So stick around, I got some great info for you. To say you gotta know somebody, or know somebody, to get somewhere these days. To say you know that car ride, yeah that's alright. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone, your host of Addicted to Real Estate TV. Today's episode is sponsored by Realty Mark 100, where real estate investors can get MLS access for only $59 a month. That's right, you heard me correct. You do not have to be a realtor to get MLS access. You do everywhere else in the world, but not at Realty Mark 100. How is that possible? Because they're special. They can do things no one else can do, and that's all I'm going to tell you. So check them out, Realty Mark 100. You can call them at the phone number below, the website below, or you can click on the link on my website, Addicted to Real Estate, that says MLS Access. Click on it, put your name and info in it, and voila, you got MLS Access. And guess what? There are no contracts, so you can cancel it at any time. All right, let's get on with today's episode. Real estate is the business that loves you back. Okay, let's get into talking about that. First of all, let's just suppose you want to quit your job. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that love to quit their job, right? I mean, who wants to work for the man? You know what job stands for, don't you? Stands for just over broke, okay? Even if you have a job that pays you a lot of money, so what? Who cares? You're probably giving the government 40% of it, and look what they're doing with it. Uh, running up trillion dollar deficits because it's still not enough for them. Right? I want to be in control of my own destiny. I want to control the way I earn a living. I want to be my own boss. I don't want anyone to have power over me, my wife, and my child to control what my income is going to be by having the ability to fire me. I hate that whole concept. Go out there and make your own bones in the world is what I say. So how can you quit your job if you need income, right? Well, easiest thing to do is, is get in the real estate business and learn how to wholesale. Tons of people are doing it. Now, I don't typically call wholesaling real estate investing because if you're buying a house, you're getting it under contract, and you're selling that contract to someone else to get paid, you actually never settle on the house. So you really don't invest in that house, do you? You're just making a few bucks for yourself, but that's okay. We all need money, right? Okay, another thing you can do is you can do flips. Another thing that I don't consider real estate investing, some people do, I don't. If you buy a house, you fix up that house, and then you sell it to somebody else, Sure, you owned the house, but you've only owned it for a short period of time, and the only reason you did it was to earn a few bucks for yourself. You didn't really do it as an investment, okay? By definition, I think an investment has to be something that you're investing your money in, and you're going to build that thing, that like a business, you're going to build that investment, that business, into something more valuable than what it is today. And that takes work, okay? That takes management. That takes, you know, personality. It takes the ability to rent things and fix things and deal with all the, the particular issues that come with the real estate business. There's a much better way to make money in the real estate business that I do consider real estate investing, and that's what I call wholesaling to yourself. And what that is, is you buy a house with the intention of buying and holding it, okay? But instead of you getting a good deal under contract and selling that contract to somebody else for $10,000, what I do is I get a good deal under contract, but I intend to keep that property. So I go to a private lender, I get the private lender to finance the property, and I simply tell the private investor, I need $100,000 to do this real estate deal, and I'm asking you for 110. And the reason I'm asking you for 110 is because I need money to survive. I need money to bring home for the family so the kid can get new shoes and the wife can do what she wants to do. And we all have that issue, right? Wholesaling to yourself is much safer from a private investor standpoint because I say to the private investor, I say, would you put up money for a guy to do a flip? And then the only way you're going to get paid on the back end is if that flip sells. That flip requires some other party who has no control over the end of this transaction to come in and buy that house so the private investor can get paid off. But when I do a deal, I'm keeping the deal for myself, and I'm just cutting a little slice of the pie, the wholesale to yourself fee. A little slice of the pie comes to me, and that's the way I get money. And guess what else? You don't have to pay taxes on that money because that money is a loan. It's not earned income like it would be in a flip or in a wholesale deal. Okay, let's keep moving. 
right? How else does real estate love you back? Suppose you don't go on vacation very often because the economy's tough and you don't have a lot of excess cash and your quality of life has gone down a little bit because you work pretty hard. Raise your hand if that's you, okay? It's me too, okay? It's probably most of us, all right? Uh, if, if, if your life is that grand, you're probably not watching this TV show. You got life all figured out already. Well, if you can move to paradise and still earn a living, then isn't that a wonderful thing? You can do that in the real estate business. You don't have a J-O-B. You're not tied to any geographic location. Just because you live somewhere, that doesn't mean you can't invest in real estate all over the place, all right? If you can buy houses in the Philadelphia area or wherever the hell you're from, you can buy houses anywhere, which means you can buy houses in paradise. And if you can buy houses in paradise, then you can live in paradise. You can move to paradise. You can live in paradise half the time. You can go to paradise one weekend a month if you want. You're a real estate investor and you're in control of your own destiny. So don't tell me you can't move to paradise because you can. I can prove it to you because I already do it. All right. What else can you do in the real estate business that can improve the quality of your life and basically love you back? Well, you can change your world in all the ways I've already talked about, but in also in the most important way. Making money is great, but that's completely different from building wealth. People confuse the two all the time. I can't tell you how many friends I have, and they're doing well. I've got some friends that are doing pretty well, and they're bragging to me all the time about how much money they make. Oh, I made uh, 200 grand this year, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Are you giving 80000 of a $200,000 income to the government and you're working like a dog and stressed out like crazy, okay? Do I look stressed out to you? The only person that can stress me out is me. And that, I'd have to look in the mirror and scream at myself. I've tried that already. It doesn't really work because the guy on the other side never listens. But you can change your world by helping the people around you have problems. Say you got some uh, young people you know and you want to help them get a house. You can help them get a house. You can buy a piece of investment property. You can rent it to them. You can do a rent to own with them. You're helping them. People come into my We Buy Houses store all the time. They need to sell their house. They absolutely need to sell their house. And I'm a guy who can help them. Because I have all the creative ways to do that, because I have the buyer's briefcase, hey, that's my, that's my package where I, uh, I teach people how to understand all of the techniques about real estate investing. So when someone's sitting in front of you, it doesn't matter if it's a free and clear house, it doesn't matter if it's mortgaged to the hill, it doesn't matter if it's uh, underwater, it doesn't matter what the circumstance is with that house. I have a solution for almost any house I find, almost any one I find. So I can close deals at a much higher rate. I know a real estate investor tells me he closes a deal one out of every 50 houses he looks at. That's insane. I'm closing deals more like one out of 10. My rate might be a little better than that. It might be more like one out of 8.5, but you probably wouldn't believe that. So 10 sounds better. I'm still in the double digits, okay? I help people all the time to get out of their houses and, and give them money that they desperately need. So I'm changing their world for the better and I'm changing mine because I'm putting money in my pocket and I'm building wealth. I'm doing both things. Now, if you like the concept that I'm talking about today, quitting your job, moving to paradise, and changing your world, guess what? On October 29th, I'm having a meeting at the Grand China Buffet in the Franklin Mills Mall in Philadelphia, in Northeast Philadelphia, and the very topic of that meeting is how to quit your job, how to move to paradise, and how to change your world by buying real estate. So if you like what I'm talking about today, get your ass to this meeting, okay? The link below where you can go to RSVP for the meeting and save your seat. Meeting costs $20, and it comes with a full course dinner. So you certainly don't want to miss that. i got a lot of great information I'm going to share with you there. And, you know, I'd love to see your face there. You know, connecting with real estate investors is one of the biggest things I love to do because you never know. There's so many ways that we can help each other make money, and everybody's thrilled. Hey, a lot of people have emailed me how much they loved uh, my great-great-grandfather, Nicola Falcone. Well, I just got a phone call from him, and he says he's going to be here soon. So he's planning to do another episode, but I don't want to let him go on one of these crazy rants, you know, because you don't know what the hell this guy's going to say. So what I'd like to do this time is if people have questions for Nicola, send them in to me. Actually, better yet, go to my blog tab on addictedtorealestate.com and post questions for Nicola. And uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll interview him. I mean, the guy's got an amazing perspective on everything. I just wish he wouldn't curse so much. Anyway, I'm Phil Falcone from Addicted to Real Estate. 
Get your butt to that meeting on October 29th. Make sure you pick up a copy of my book, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. It's only $20. You can't invest 20 bucks in yourself? Come on. And make sure you send in questions for Nicola Falcone. Thanks for watching this message.